Hello, it's Sarah. And look what I got. I got a Moleskin, Skine, whatever you say, Moleskin sketchbook art journal. So I went to I went to Staples and they didn't have it. But we have a bookstore around here and it's called BAM Books a Million. It was 20 bucks, 19 something, 19.99 or something. But I got it anyway. They have it on Amazon and it was in my wish list for 12 like 95, but I couldn't wait because I'm going to place an order on Amazon Tuesday. That's payday. I'm going to get, oh man, I should just read you my, my wish list. One of the main things I want to get, and I got this idea from um, <sighs> Crazy Island Family. What is her name? I think it begins with a C. I have no brain, like seriously. Mm, anywho, um, she like when you go to Amazon and you buy things from them, like she buys a lot of art products there. So you can make a list of what you buy and then to, re to reference the stuff in your videos, you can just put the um, page, like the, a link is what I'm trying to say, to that stuff. Anyway, I saw a Roscog or whatever it's called, Roscog, Roscog, what is it called? This, the Roscog home kitchen bedroom storage utility cart 45.55 I don't mind I think they're like 39 or something at Ikea but I want that cream one and I think I'm getting it and I'm going to put like all my mixed media stuff in there some things that I have to like I think my beads I don't know I'm so excited I'm going to get some um, Luminart Twinkling H2O's Two packs of those, I think. Maybe one. Maybe one to try. One will probably be plenty. Uh, I have to decide between um, spring and summer or something like that. I'm going to get some, definitely getting the Uni Posca paint markers. And I'll probably get the medium and the fine packs. To a pack of each of those paint pens. So excited. The Rascog cart. Um, the Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz Kling Rubber Stamp Set, twenty-one forty-four. That this is the, uh, I think it's called Tall Alphabet or something. Twenty-one forty-four. That was like even cheaper than um, Joanne's on sale. So I'm, um, but I definitely want to get that for stamping in my art journal. Although I used some today by Lawn Fawn, I'll show you. Then this, this is an Inka Dinka Do Mounted Rubber Stamp, the Crescent Moon. That would just be cool as a um, an art tile, a tile um, in clay. So that's kind of where I'm at so far with my wish list. But let me show you what I got. I took the moleskin off of there. So I just wanted to leave this on here because this is the sketchbook one. They had them at Staples, but they were just like um, journals. They had lined paper and stuff. But I wanted to get exactly what Rach had. And Rach said... It was, and you know who, who Rach is, R-A-C-H-0113, Rach0113. She, I love her art journaling, so inspired. I've been watching a lot of her videos, and um, I just love them, so I wanted to get this. I have other types of journals, like notebooks or sketchbooks, I would call them, sketchbooks, yeah. Um, and I'm using them for sketching. Like I sketch in there. Like when I was doing um, my stained glass mosaics. I could show you that. I don't know where the heck I put it now. Um, oh, I see them. Um, I'll grab them in a minute. But this is what I did so far. And already I've only done, I just sewed two pages and I worked on two pages. And it's already holding open my cover. But I like that it has the elastic and it also has a bookmark. So, I don't know. I just really, really liked it. I like how the layout lays open flat like that. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm very, very excited. So, here's my first page that I did. I didn't do the first page. I did the next one. So, tell me what you think. I went with the pink and orange again. Um, I was going to put one of these little angels that I showed in my haul. This is like from, uh, see how it's pink and orange? 
And actually, that probably would have looked really cool there. I don't know. But I decided not to because I thought I just wanted it to match. But that would have looked cool. See, I should have went with it. I should have just went with it. I, I stamped out wings and everything. I was going to put these little wings on her. She would have looked really good. Oh, man. But anyway, I ended up putting one of the... Um, fairy princesses from Lawn Fawn. I use these all the time. I love this little stamp set. It's so, I've gotten so much use out of it. Um, so yeah, this, I have this little uh, ATB block. I did them all on here with watercolor, but I need to. So then I just freehanded the letters and cut them out of um, my book, book pages. I used the stamp set by Lawn Fawn. That's what I wanted to show you. I was so pleased with it. I've had this forever in my stash, and I don't, I don't know. I haven't used it, so I broke it out. I actually have the dies for it too, so I mean that's an idea. I could just cut out a bunch of letters, you know, at some point, and just have them in a baggie or something ready to go. But this is what the font looks like. It was the perfect size and then you just lay them down on your craft mat and go and they kind of look how look how nice it came out journal I love it so it says art journal and then I did all these flowers are from I've had these in my stash forever the Diane Reevely I think it is yep Diane Reevely these two stamp sets, and I'm going to probably put these on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for a couple more of these. I want to get a couple stencils too. Maybe not, because I have stencils and I should just use what I have. Um, good point, Sarah. Um, so I used this flower, this flower, all the flowers I used, except for the littlest, um, on this page. And I used a couple of these leaves and a couple of these leaves. And I stamped this in the background. So I was gonna do some stamping around the edge too, like with those borders, but I ended up just making a line. I wrote the date over here, July 31st. I used my pearl paints, as you can see, um, but mainly I just painted it with um, my acrylic paints. And I did the background exactly how I've been doing it on my um, ATCs, so I mean, the same exact, I put tissue paper, which you really can't see anymore, but it's back there. I did the flowers again and the butterfly page. Um, painted over it with just pink and blue. These two colors right here, that's all I used. I mixed, I kind of did blue around the outside and pink in the middle. And then I stenciled pink and I stenciled words with the blue. Um, I did some orange dots and that's kind of how I tied it in. And then the, the leaves I painted with, and actually Rach had done it on one of her videos. She painted her leaves with this, the Le Halo Blue Gold, the Lemire paint that I love for like dragonflies and stuff. So tell me what you think. I mean, I like it. It came out so shiny and bright for my first art journal page. I'm pretty excited. Now I got to figure some more stuff out and just play and... I like it though. What do you think you guys? So that's my, and then the next page I gessoed so it's ready to go. I didn't gesso this page. I just Mod Podge the napkins on. So I think this page, I'm just going to do some spritzing because I, oh, I did spritz Glimmer Mist on here. Um, you can see it around the edges. I was going to spatter, but I thought there's a lot going on. So I just left it. So tell me what you think. Am I on to, am I on the right track or... Oh, I also bought this, the matte medium, the Liquitex uh, fluid gel matte medium. It's not gel, it's um, matte fluid. Anyway, and I love it. It worked great, so I got that. And I will share my haul when I get my Amazon haul. I'm so excited about it. So there it is. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.